Mm -hmm. Everyone, so we have 19 accounts that we need to get deleted from a credit report. We're going to go through it now. Don't forget, you guys can always go and check out my, let me show it to you all now. Six months of free letters. You guys can get that right on my website, Rakita.com. So let's go right on into it and start working to remove these accounts from the credit reports, okay? So I have a credit report here. We're going to go through it and we're going to start doing just a simple letter, you guys. This is just to get some accounts deleted. We're not going to overthink this. We're going to go and just start working to remove these accounts, okay? So this is a sample credit report right here. Um, I'm also going live tomorrow. So go to Rakita.com, you'll be able to get the sample letters and go to the bottom, you'll be able to see the six months of free letters. But I'm also going live tomorrow from, for somebody that actually um, went through the steps. So I'm going to be doing their credit reports again tomorrow. I want to keep doing this just to show you guys that all you have to do is just get started. You can't just sit there, you have to just get started. So here is the sample credit report that we're going to get, use right here. I'm not going to have anybody's information on, on here in terms of their name or you know, date of birth and all that. So I have to cut out some of the information so we can't see everything. And then this is the credit report that we're using right here. So this is the credit report. And you guys can get this for free by going to my website, Rakita.com. Go to my website and click on this right here. You'll get that free dispute letter that we're going to fill out. So you'll get that free dispute letter that first dispute letter you see plus you'll get a validation of debt letter it's going to be free cease and desist letter you're also going to get that and then you're also going to get in the letter right here this is for your inquiries and then also you're going to get one for your bankruptcies which is this right here so you're going to get all of this for free by just going to the website right here clicking here and then you'll get that letter for free but if you want me to do six months of free letters then you have to follow all of these steps down here and then i'll put you on for next weekend or if i do some during a week um, which I probably don't, but I'll put you on for next weekend. I'll do your six months of free letters, but just go to Rakita.com and you guys will be able to check that out. So here is the first letter. So if you guys have not watched already, we have to send out letters to the credit bureaus to remove these negative accounts. So they have a collection right here. The, the collection name is ERC. We have to copy these names and we have to copy these account numbers onto my sample letter that I'm giving you all, this free letter. So we have to send one to each credit bureau. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to copy this three separate times so we can have three different letters because that's what we have to do. So let's do that step first and then we'll start copying all of the information in. So first we wanna delete right here where it says letter number one. We wanna remove that information there. Also, you see right here, all rights reserved, copyright, you want to remove that. Then we want to put this one on its own page because we got to mail it to all three credit bureaus. So let's go ahead and remove this. Okay, good. Let's go down. And then let's remove all, all rights reserved and letter number one. Let's go ahead and remove this and move this to its own page. Okay, good. So now we got three different sections. Okay, that's good. Now we got to fill in the name, address, social security number, and date of birth. You have to put this on your own letters when you get it, but we're going to just put something in here just because. Okay. So Monique Wells address is 123 Main Street. And this information is not real information. I'm literally just coming up with it right now. Um, Let's just put Orlando. Perfect. Just anything. Then you have to put your social security number in. And then your date of birth. So you got to put all this information in when you do your letters, okay? And then we want to copy this to all three letters. So this is on our first letter. We want to copy it to our second letter here. And I forgot to take that letter number one off. Let's take that off. So let's just copy it on to that one. And then our third letter, which is here. Uh-oh, I copied that on accident. I'm going to press paste. So copy that again and then put that on our third letter. Now, you guys, when I'm doing these 
um, lives every weekend. You guys get access to the free letters. If you want me to send out letters for you, just go to my website, go all the way down to the bottom, and then you guys will be able to get the free letters for six months when you follow that full process. But while I'm doing these letters, like if you haven't done letters, you know you got negative accounts, just get on it. You got a free letter, and you know all you have to do is just go through the steps and fill this in just like I am. And if you just come on, okay, when you go live again, I'm just going to do my letters at that same time. It's going to take us an hour. Y'all can do the same thing. Just go through the steps. Now we have to copy this name because at the bottom, you can see right here where it says name, all rights reserved. We have to remove that and put the name. So let's just get that done and get that out the way right now. Just clean up our letter all the way. Okay, and then we have to put it on this last letter. So we got three separate letters to three separate credit bureaus. Sometimes you guys may find like on this sample letter, we can see that this is Experian. This is the account being reported to Experian. This is being reported to Equifax and this is being reported to TransUnion. Maybe Equifax may have everything deleted. You might have, you might not have to send them a letter, but this one we know we got to send out three letters because we can see right here it's on three different bureaus for you know other accounts. So like this, we got another one right here for $113. It's on all three bureaus. So we know we got to send out letters, but for some reason, if it's not on Equifax or if not on TransUnion, you don't have to send them a letter, but we're going to copy these anyway because we're going to have to do that. So let's go ahead and copy the names of the credit bureaus. Just as an example, you guys um, are going to put the actual address to the credit bureaus in here. I'm just copying the name because I'm not going to um, put their actual information in here because I don't have it readily available. But that's Experian. Our next letter is going to be, oh, uh, we got to move this down some because we need it on its own page. It's its own letter. Um, this is our next letter. This one is going to go to Equifax. So let's paste that here. And then that next one is going to go to TransUnion. Let's move that down some. And then we're going to put TransUnion right there. So let's copy that and put that to TransUnion. Okay, perfect. I think we got everything filled in now. So now we can start filling in our letters. So let me tell you a little bit about our letters. Um, these are, you see where it says one, two, three, four, five. That's where you're going to put the name of your account in there in the account number. Do not overthink this, you guys, especially if you're not sending out letters. Just send out the letter. Like just, I cannot stress this enough. When I had so many accounts, you guys, I had to get them deleted. I was overthinking it. When I just sent out the letters, literally I seen them accounts gone. Like literally they was going every month. I seen something being deleted. Even if it didn't get deleted the first month, when I kept sending out the letters, they eventually got deleted. So I want you guys to just fill this stuff in, put the name and the account number in. Don't overthink it, okay? Just put that in and let's keep it pushing. So we're going to put those in. We got five spaces. We may need to make more spaces. All of this information right here, just leave that alone. That's what you need the credit bureaus to read. And then also, I guess I forgot to take this signature part off. You see where it says signature? Let's double check that on our letters. And we got to keep editing them to make sure that they're on the same page. Yep, I should have copied over those where it says signature so we got to remove those but we'll tighten up these letters a little bit more as we get them done but let's see how fast we can literally get these done because people think it take a long time to do letters and it really don't it's just the consistency part of it and that's why i said get your free letters right here on rakita.com go ahead and get your free letter you're going to get the same letters I just showed you with the bankruptcy letters. Plus, I got packages for people that got late payments, student loans, collections, charge off bankruptcies. You can get that there. But guess what? All of these letters, like while I'm live, I have them available where you can get all of those letters for literally, I think it's like $68. If you come right here and click, you can get the whole package. It's like 40 some letters for bankruptcy, charge off, all those different things. But don't make it hard. Just literally fill in those accounts. Leave all the information the same. You'll be good. Okay, so let's start filling this account, these accounts. Now, the first one, I can't see the name of it because I some of their personal information was on it, so I have to chop it off. So let's fake like the name of the account is rental agreement. Let's just fake like it, okay? Um, this one right here says it's a collection. The payment status, they saying it is uh, the collection status. They're saying it's a collection. Then Equifax is saying it's late, 120 days. So we really don't know what's going on with this account. I'm just going to assume that it is a collection, Okay. So with this one, we have to put the name because it's going to be account number one. We have to put the name of the account right here. But put the actual name right here. Matter of fact, instead of me doing that, let's just make up one. Let's act like it's Midland Funding because I don't want y'all to just put get used to that. Put the actual name of your account right here. Now, where it says account number for those people that don't know their account numbers, um, 
then you can just put the balance of your account, which is what we're going to do for this one. But I do suggest that you guys really get a copy of your credit reports. I like get a full copy of your credit reports, okay? Like get a full copy because it's going to make it better for you. I'm just going to move that balance over just because it's going to be kind of awkward for it to sit over there. It's not an account number. Now, for those people that need to get their credit reports, let me say this. If you go down to the bottom, you can see one of the steps is you got to get your credit reports from Identity IQ. It's a trial. You got two options. You can pay the dollar right here, get your credit reports from Identity IQ for a dollar. You get all three reports, or you can use Credit Karma, get your 14 day free trial from Aura, and Aura is going to show your experience report. So if you want to be free, free, I don't want to pay anything, go right here to Aura. If you like, I'll pay a dollar, Akita, go right here. You get a seven day trial over here with um, Identity IQ, and then you get 14 days with Aura. Okay. So that's one thing. And let's see, let's go back and look at the letters now let's go to our second account so if you guys are using credit karma just put that balance in because you don't know what the account number in is unless Aura gonna tell you okay so just put that balance but we know the account number going forward it was just that one so for the next account the name of the account is erc i'm going to actually copy this full thing though when they talk about sprint because that's the original company so let's copy that full name paste it right here and then now we have that. And then now we want to paste this account number. Now, some people like to just go through it and do each bureau just like this. You can just go through and say, okay, this one is on Experian. Let me just go through and see which ones are on Experian. And then they'll put it on that letter. What I like to do is I like to just copy and paste it as I go. So with this Midland one, this Midland, this one was reporting to... Um, all three credit bureaus. So I want to go to Experian, put it on Experian. I want to go down and I want to add it to our Equifax one. And you can see the numbers are right here is messed up. I'm going to show you how you're going to fix that. Don't worry about that. Scroll down and I want to put it on our TransUnion. So I like to do it like that because it's just faster to me, but do whatever you want. Okay. Whatever makes it easy for you. As long as you get the letter out, I'm cool with it. Um, next one is TransUnion because it's not on Equifax, so we're not going to put on Equifax, but it is on TransUnion. So let's copy that ERC that's on Experian already because we put it here already, and let's put it on TransUnion. So copy this. Let's go past Equifax because it's not on our Equifax credit report, so we don't need to tell them about it. They already hooked this up. So we want to go to our TransUnion and paste it there. Perfect. Just like that. We did it. Okay, the next one is this account here. So we want to copy the name of your account. It is a collection, so we know we need to get it deleted. It's a derogatory. Look for these things because you don't want to delete every account. You want to delete just your bad ones. That's inaccurate, which we can see as inaccuracies here because the last date activity is different on all three credit bureaus, which means it's inaccurate, which means it needs to be deleted, okay? So we want to copy the name of the account, which is here, and it's on all three credit bureaus. So we're going to first put it on our Experian and then copy it and paste it to the other bureaus. Okay, so let's paste that name here and then let's paste this account number. Don't forget, for those people that's coming in, you can get this free letter at Rakita.com. You can get this free letter right there at the top. So that's the name of the account and the account number. So let's copy that and put this on all three bureaus. So Midland is right there. Let's paste this right here. And you can see it's, it says like not mine, no contract, not liable. Leave that information there. Only thing you change in is the um, account name and then the account number. That's it. You just fill in this information in and then we're going to paste this right here. Okay, good. Okay, good. So we got that one in there. And these are all separate accounts, you guys, technically. these it's, it's one account, but it's on each credit bureau, but you have to look at it differently. You have to look at it as, like I said, it's 19 accounts because it's on each credit bureau. Each credit bureau account has a separate account because we can see that Ex Experian may delete it and Equifax may delete it one month, but then TransUnion is going to say, no, I'm going to keep it. So next time you get your credit report, you're going to see that it's gone from here, but you still got it there. That's why I count these as separate accounts, okay? So the next one that we have to do is here, which is a medical bill radiology. So let's go up to the top and let's add it here. Now I like to add something extra to my medical bills. You can put on there, this is a medical debt, or you can put on there, it's a HIPAA violation. 
So you can see right here, it already says HIPAA violation. We good. This is a medical debt. It says HIPAA violation right here. We already good. I hope you guys can be able to see that. I highlighted it for you. So we good for that. I like to put that on anything that got medical debt. Because it's making it a lot of times to get um, deleted faster. So we're going to copy this onto all three bureaus because it's listed on all three bureaus. So we're going to copy it and put it on all three bureaus. Okay, perfect. And paste it here. And please ignore this little baby, you guys. He don't feel the best and he's actually getting me sick too. So <laughs> I'm, I'm happy I'm able to even go live right now with y'all. So that is that account is added on there. Y'all, it's literally that simple. Just copy the name and the account number. After you start seeing account getting deleted and you start finding out which ones are not going to come out, that's when you can tackle those specific ones with these letters right here. The late payments, like I got a late payment, it won't come off. Okay, well, tack that one account with the late payment. Student loans, you got student loans, they won't come off. You tried this letter, only a few of them came off, you got a few left. Use this here, collections, charge off in a bankruptcy, okay? You'll tackle them there, but just like how we copy and paste in the name and account number for your first round, for especially for those people that's just sitting there with these accounts on there, just do something, which is this. Just copy and paste it. Don't think too hard, like literally. So let's go ahead and copy this and paste this. Okay, good. That's what we need. Now let's copy and, this, copy and paste this one to the other credit bureau. Okay, so we're going to put this one right here on Equifax. Perfect. And then we're going to put it right here on Experian. I mean, TransUnion, which is perfect. Okay, we got that one on all three credit bureaus. Go back up to our first top, our first letter. Okay, so we got another collection right here. It's not on Equifax, so we're only going to put it on TransUnion and Experian. Now, the thing is, we only had room for five accounts, so we have to make more room for more accounts. So all we have to do is just copy one of the sections that have our account name, account number, and all of this, delete this from my credit report. We want to copy that, and then we want to just make spaces, just more spots. So just copy and paste it, and that'll give us some more room. Can y'all see that? That'll just give us more room. So perfect. We got next. We just put a space in between all of them. Okay, so now y'all see we got more spots. It's the same one, so please remember which extra ones you have because you want to have to go back in there and delete these. I want to copy these and make more spaces on the other credit bureaus too. So let's put this after this one because this one's still got space. Okay, perfect. That was Equifax. And then this one is TransUnion. We got to put this on its own page. So we got to push this down some. Okay, perfect. And that's only because we did all that copying and pasting. I got to go back and double check with Equifax to see if we got to do that too, because I may have missed it. Not Yeah. So this one we got to bring up. Can you see it's extra space at the top of our letter? Let's bring this one up. And you can edit all this at the last minute, but I just want to do this just in case you guys may forget. Like, oh, I just want to do this. So you can see the habit of just getting it done right away. I don't want to wait to the end. Anything that can just get done, I want to just get it done because I don't want to overthink this. Okay, so the name of the company is here. So let's copy this. It's on another page, so I can't copy it like I want to. So I'm just going to copy just the name name of the company, which is fine. That's all we really need anyway. So the name of that comp company, we copied it. We, two, we see two of the same ones, so I know that this is where I need to paste it. Okay, perfect. The account number. Perfect. Paste it there. And then this is on which bureaus again? It's not on Equifax. So we're going to just go put it on TransUnion. So let's skip Equifax, which is this letter here, and put it on TransUnion. TransUnion. Okay, perfect. All right, let's see if they got some more accounts. Okay, we still got more accounts. All of these are collections. So collections are usually easier to remove, you guys. So just don't overthink it. Just literally send out a letter. And then after um, you find out that these accounts are not getting deleted, they're scattered, they're going to stay on certain bureaus, that's when you go in with this collection letter. This collection letter, this package is $27. Again, all these packages 
come with six letters except for bankruptcy you only got four because you don't need that many letters for that but you got six letters for all of these here and if you go down to the bottom you can get that full package again for $68 or $69. And if you get your credit reports from Aura and Identity IQ and complete the application, I'll do your letters for the six months for free, which I'm doing that tomorrow for a client. So if you find that these accounts, for some reason, they're just not coming off, you're having a hard time with it, then go back in there and get those letters and target that account. Because right now we're only sending this to the credit bureaus. If you find that these accounts are not getting deleted, you need to send out letters to the other companies too. So Midland Funding, if you find out Midland Funding is not deleting your account, you need to send them a letter directly to their address. And I suggest that you guys send it out certified mail, but you have to send them a letter directly to their address. And that's the letter that you wanna get out that package. Okay, so this is the name of the account. Let's not worry about how it's looking right now because we're gonna reorganize these anyway because the numbers are not right. So that is the name of the account. Okay, good. It's making sure. And here is another one right up under here. Okay, perfect. And we're going to fix that anyway, so let's not worry. Okay, good. That's all of our accounts there. So now let's clean up our letters. All of these stay positive. Now you see how it looks like this, like... Um, how the screen look, how it's separated, all the negatives at the top, all the positives technically at the bottom. If you guys want me to do this, I have this for my members. If you guys are a part of my membership, um, I do have a dollar trial for my membership, but I do suggest you just pay the full fee because we can send out letters for you. As long as you're a member, you get uh, we send out free letters. Because literally, you guys, look how fast I did these letters. And I got a system that does this. So I really don't go in there and do it like this anymore. I have a system that can automate it automatically populate this for me so I can send your letters out literally in five minutes or less you know and switch them up a little bit more but if you guys are a member we can go ahead and give you this is called an analyzer where it tells you exactly what's wrong with your accounts like the last data activity is different on all three credit bureaus all these red marks shows that there's differences which is what you're going to need when you target these accounts because your accounts have to be 100% accurate and 100% complete. So like for this collection company, it's not 100% accurate because the credit bureaus are reporting different dates, but it's one account. How is that possible? Your last date activity is different on the credit bureaus too, which is this line right here. And that's not possible. And it also, the, this is a collection account. So it's being re-aged, which means that this date right here, last date activity should always be before the date open because it's a collection. Your um, last date activity, if you guys are not watching Credit 101, we talked about last date activity and your last date activity. This date right here should always be before because it's the first day that you became delinquent. So if your credit card was due January 1st, 2013, then that's the first, and you didn't pay it that day, that's the first day you came delinquent. So even if it's 2019, they should have that 2000, January 2013 day right there, not the date that they um want to put right there and this day should always be before they even bought it because it's the first day you became delinquent with the original company you guys whoever the original was when you were supposed to pay it and you did not pay it that's your last day activity so please remember that because i always send out reagent letters and them things work like crazy they really work but for my members i can show you all the different errors like look this is saying rental agreement then one bureau say collection other one say rental agreement how is that possible this one, Experian don't even have a monthly payment here. Equifax not even reporting terms. This have to be 100% accurate or they have to delete it or 100% complete. If you look right here, March 2019, it's a blank space right there. So for those people that's doing these targeting letters, like these collection letters, and you're targeting these accounts, then when you get the six letters, you got to send one to the credit bureau the first month. And then the next month, whether or not they respond, you need to specialize it. And then that next letter, you're going to want to specialize. Instead of just copy and paste, you can copy and paste the account name and account number. But you need to put, hey, my monthly payment is different on all three credit bureaus. Experian don't have a monthly payment, which is incomplete data. And the other two bureaus say $1,500. Delete this from my credit report. 
And you want to be specific like that, but that's what you're going to use for these targeting letters. And that's how you can get your credit score to go up like these um, examples that I have right here from some clients. 87 points, they went to 708. And somebody was in the 500s, they went to 600, they had a 113 point increase. That's because we're getting these accounts deleted. That's what you're supposed to be able to see. Okay, so let's clean up our letters. I ran my mouth too much, that's enough. I need to save my voice. So let's clean up our accounts. So we got our account, we got our personal information up here. That's good. We send it to Experian. We just need to add that address. Y'all get that address, add that address on. And then let's just make sure we have all of our accounts listed here. So this is perfect. Let me see if I can delete this. Okay, this one don't want to work right. So let's, I'll just copy and paste that. I mean, I'll fix it. So these are extra. This seven and eight is extra. We thought we needed more for more accounts. Let's delete that because we don't need it. And then for these, let's just copy this and change the formatting of it. So let's click on these three dots right here. And that's when you can um, do like number, you can number your accounts. I'm just going to do like probably some bulletins or let me see what other ones can I do. Okay, perfect. This fine because they don't need numbers on it. Just make sure that they're spaced. So that's good. You see how it's cleaned up? We're going to just leave it like that. That's all we need. And let's just actually move this back over because everything is on the left. So let's make it all look cute. And a, a computer system is going to scan this letter. A real person not going to look at it. So we just want to make sure that it can get scanned correctly in terms of the account name. So that letter is actually good. We got all our information right here. Again, you can get these free letters at Rikita.com for those people coming in. Um, go here. You can get the free letter right here, the same one we're looking at. And just make sure you're um, cleaning it up and putting your personal information in there. So our experience letter is good. We can mail that to the credit bureaus. We good. Our Equifax letter right here, we have it to Equifax. Our personal information is good. We just have to add that address. You can just keep this right here and then put the address on the envelope too, if you want to. You can also add the date in here too. If you're not gonna send it certified, please add the date so that you'll have proof on here on when you actually mailed it. Okay, so let's, let's take off these additional accounts. So the additional accounts start right here. Because remember, we added those additional um, accounts so that we can have space. So we got this good. Okay, we still got this gap where this one don't say five. So again, let's copy this. And then let's do this number thing that we have. And then press it again and good. Now we took all the numbers off. All right, looks perfect to me. Let's just move that over. Okay, then that letter looks good. It's going to Equifax. Everything look good. Our name right here. Okay, we good. You don't have to sign it. This is good enough. Just your name, okay? You don't have to sign it. Now, this one we got to bring up because it's a gap right here. Because when you print these letters, you want it to look really nice. You don't want it to look crazy, okay? You want to make it look really nice. So we have all the accounts here. Let's find our extra ones that duplicates, which is this one here, starting at seven. It's a duplicate, seven and eight. So delete those. Then we have to edit this part because we wanted to make it be lined up. So press that twice. Okay, we're good. We're going to move this over because I moved it over earlier, but we're going to move it back. Okay, perfect. It looks really good. All right, that looks good. This information, we're going to keep that there, our name there. That's all we have to do to send our letters out. Now, you have to send this letter out to the credit bureaus, you all. You have to send it out to the credit bureaus. So definitely send it out to the credit bureaus. Um, and I suggest you send it out certified. Now, for those people, um, you want to make sure you in for next week. You want me to do the six months of free letters. Please go ahead for those people, if you haven't already, get the dispute, the mega dispute letter package now. I'm going to give you all until 12 o'clock because I am on Eastern Standard Time. So you guys have nine minutes to get that in and I will have your letters done 
next weekend. I only have so many spaces for that, you all, but I have a few spaces left. So if you haven't already, go ahead and get your mega dispute letter package. You're going to get all of the letters that I have. So all these letters that I have right here, you're going to get it. Plus it's usually 190 seven dollars but you guys are going to get it for 68 dollars you don't have to worry about doing these um right now just get your letters i can have your information now i have your email address i have your phone number which will be good and then i can say okay good i got you for next week so go ahead and do that now you're going to get it for 68 dollars instead of the 197 dollars and then i'll get your letters um done now it's six months of free letters so i'm sending letters out for you for six months I suggest that you all send out your letters for six months. You guys are going to get this free letter, but that's why I tell you all to get these letters too, because you have to send out more than just that one letter a lot of times. So send out multiple letters. Well, first get your first letter out for those people that just want to get a first letter out. And people that's getting a package, you want me to work on your credit, don't worry about sending the first letter out. I want to send it out. Um, and I'm going to tweak it a little bit more. The one I sent, I showed you right here, this letter right here is just the basic one. I want to add more stuff in here. I want to move some more stuff around. I might use a specialized one because I know what accounts are going to get deleted using what letter. So I have special letters too. Um, so definitely don't send out any letters. Just get that package if you know you want to get yours done for sure. But you guys have until 12 o'clock. So definitely make sure you guys get in there. While we're waiting on people to get their letters, if they're going to get their letters, while we're waiting, let's do this. Let me show you guys which credit cards you guys need to get. So go ahead, um, go to Rakita.com if you guys are on TikTok and go ahead and get your package. Let me show you what um, credit cards I need you all to get. So for this person right here, let's look at their credit reports real quick. Let's look and see what credit cards they have. So this, these are the negative accounts. So they have one credit card right here. The credit limit is $335 and a balance is $335. They need to pay this credit card down. So they got one account. Um, this one is an installment account. So it's not a credit card. It's edu educational. Uh, another educational. That's it. So they got two student loans and one credit card. So they need to get some more credit cards. Now, where they at right now, they probably won't be able to get too many credit cards, but I always tell people, try right here where it says the best credit cards for bad credit. When you guys are in the building stage, try right here where it says the best credit cards for bad credit, because it's a lot of cards on here that you guys can probably get. So for them, I will suggest that they get that self that can help them out. The Credit builder card can definitely help them out. They'll allow you to get two credit cards, you guys, with the credit builder card. So definitely check that out because they'll allow you to get two of them. Um, you can also check out Kickoff, which is good. Discover is secure. I love them. This one right here usually graduate after six um, billing cycles. So about seven to eight months, it's going to graduate. And somebody talked about how they went from, I believe, $200 to $2,100 when they graduated. So that means that you have to put a deposit down because it's secure, but then they're going to give you your money back and increase your limit. So definitely check this one out. This is the Discover Secure. And actually, I thought you guys had more time. I want to give you guys a few more um, minutes that want to get the package because I realize the time that's on my computer is different than the time that's on my phone. So I'll give you guys a few more lit, um, minutes to go ahead and get the make a dispute letter package so I can do your letters um, next weekend. But let's go back over here. Definitely get this one. You put the deposit down on it um, after a certain amount of months for a secure credit cards. If it graduate, they'll give you your money back and increase your limit. So they put $200 down. There's one to $2,100. So I definitely like that one. We talked about the two more credit. I need to remove this from my website. It's not what it is. Don't worry, y'all. This is it's over with. You can't get this one. This one was really good for you guys to build your credit, but it's no longer available. Also, Navy Federal, $200 deposit, and in six months, it increased to $2,000. So this is another good one. Also, Petal One Visa, I'll suggest that. All of these can pre-qualify them without a hard inquiry, too, which means they can try to get it. And if they say they can get it, then they can apply for it. So they may say, yeah, we can pre-qualify you. So if you want to accept it, you can go ahead and accept it. But if they can't give you your credit card, they're not going to give you a hard inquiry. So that's what I really like about this one. They can also try to Capital One Platinum. But with the, all of these bad accounts, I know they got one credit card, but look how many negative accounts they had. 
Well, you got a lot of negative accounts like that. You probably got to start off with secure. And for those people that file bankruptcy, this open sky right here, you probably want to have to get this. But I have to get open sky before too, and it helped increase my credit score a lot. So that's why I tell people to get it. If you can got no choice, you got to build your credit back up. Nobody give you a credit card. Go with open sky. Like if you file bankruptcy, especially go ahead and get that open sky. Um, also, discover a student. If you're a student, get this one. But you got to make sure you use your student um, email address when you apply for it. Credit One Bank is another one. That's a good one for people with bankruptcy too. Check the annual fees on these next ones we're going to go into because they can have high annual fees. Like Credit One Bank can have a high annual fee. Mission Land can have a um, high annual fee. Sometimes they don't, but this is a good one. Um, also, I really don't talk too much about Credit Strong, but if you want to get it, you can get it. I like the kickoff and self. I already told you guys about that in the beginning. So I really wouldn't suggest that one. Um, Prosper, this one can tell you how much they can prove you for um, before you even get a hard inquiry. So they may say, hey, we pre-qualify you for $1,400. And all of this is on my website, you guys. Again, Rakita.com, you'll be able to see it. So you get your free dispute letters here, buy your packages here, get your membership here, look at all the different credit card lists I have here, and then sign up for the six months of free letters here. So I'm going to do one more minute for people, and then I'll contact you all. I'll um, call you all that did the package so I can do the six months of letters so that I'll let you know what you have to do going forward so I can get those letters done for you next week. But check out the Prosper cards, Milestone, but check these annual fees. Please check the annual fees, especially for Indigo. I've seen some crazy annual fees for that. Destiny also. So check out those credit cards. But this is the best list that I like. Those are for people with bad credit. So I'll tell them they already got three. I would really tell them to get another one because I just don't know what's going on with that one credit card they have. I would tell them to get another one. Start off with four when you guys are building your credit. When you first send out your letters, go ahead and get the secure credit cards if you can because you're going to be so much further than those people that just wait until their credit is good and they get credit cards. Because don't forget, if you get that Discover, Navy Federal, and Capital One, those are three credit cards right there that can graduate. So when all those credit cards graduate, that's when they're going to finally be able to get a credit card. And you're going to already be with $2,000 credit cards. And they're going to be finally getting a $300 credit card. So start with those secure ones if you have to. Now, this is my um, list that I like right here. Rikita's top credit cards. These are credit cards that I personally vouch for that I love. I love my Discover credit card. So definitely... Um, Apply for the Discover credit card. I love, love, love my Discover. I love my Amazon credit card. I love that I can buy something with Amazon. Um, I can use my Visa anywhere I want to use it. I get the 10% cash back. And on top of that, I love that if you spend a certain amount of money, then they have 0% interest, um, interest on those purchases. So I love that. And I just love shopping on Amazon. Like literally I have boxes under my feet kicking to rest my feet right now. Like I love Amazon. Um, also, another Discover credit card. Any student credit card, you guys, though, you use your student email address. Another Discover credit card. So a lot of Discover. I love Kickoff, too. I told you guys when I first got Kickoff, you know, years ago, my credit score went up 37 points because I had high utilization at that time. But it still brought my credit score up. So I love Kickoff for that. You can see somebody else's um, credit score went up 74 points from Kickoff. So definitely check this out. Also, the Self Visa. Um, this one right here, they have a self account. You pay on a certain amount per month. I used to get the $48 one. Now just suggest get the $25 one, but after three months or having a hundred dollars or, and having a hundred dollars saved, you can get this visa for those people that just can't get a credit card. So you can slowly save for your secure credit card for those people like Rikita. I know you said $200, but I can't do it. Okay. Get the $25 one and in four or five months, get that um, sell Visa, and that will help you all out with building your credit. I told you about the credit builder car. I love them. Uh, one of my clients' credit score went up over 80 points for having this one. They're going to report to the credit bureau for, before you can get the credit card, and they'll allow you to get two. So if they, if you can get this one, you can get two, spend at 400, spend at 400. It's going to help you out a lot. But don't be late because it's going to really mess up your credit on any of these credit cards. Just set it, uh, auto pay for the minimum amount, and then you'll be good. Also, we have the Chase Freedom. Definitely check out the Chase. I love my um, Chase credit cards. Don't forget, Amazon is technically a Chase credit card. Um, so I love my Chase credit cards. So definitely um, check them out. Some Capital Ones are in here too. Some City for those people that might like City, US Bank. So those are some credit cards that I like. And then I also have my um, Credit 101 series, you guys. So 
definitely find those different videos that you you may need help with for the credit one-on-one series but that's it you guys um thank you to those people that got the packages i'll make sure that i contact you all your phone number should be on there if for some reason it did not work right or something like that call me you all let me put my number on the screen so you guys can call me so you guys can call me right here and this is if you're calling me today now if you're not like calling me today you don't or texting me today call my other number um which is this and i'm gonna make it bigger for you all so 833 rakita okay perfect so let me make this bigger so if you have some questions you want i have my assistant her name is esther she can look over your credit reports um with you you guys can call the 833 rakita but for some reason you wanted me to send out the six months of letters or you having a problem please make sure you um, call or text me on this number definitely text me because i know i'm going to get a lot of calls like <laughs> please text me um at this number and then i'll make sure i text you back and for the people that got the free um they got the package and they want me to send out letters please go ahead and get your aura trial is um a free trial for 14 days get that aura trial make sure you guys use my link rakita um aura.com forward slash rakita and then also use this link right here to get your trial for identity iq you have to make sure that you use these links that's here and then complete this application so just go to rakita.com you guys do the six months of free letters go down to the bottom and do the package get the aura trial get the identity iq trial and complete the application and then call us to say hey rakita or hey esther do y'all have everything for me i want rakita to do my letters so i'll make sure i get you guys letters done if you for some reason you weren't able to get them done right now before that deadline i told you i'll contact you all still get it done um, if you get the package done, I'll still look later on today and see if you guys got this mega dispute letter package. It's literally only $68. You get over 40 letters. Um, definitely get that package and then I'll make sure I contact you all. But I may not contact you today. I may have to contact you tomorrow. And I'll see you guys to I'll see you guys tomorrow because I'm going live again tomorrow. So I'll see you guys there. Let me see if I have a few questions. Uh, how do we pull our credit report so if you guys need to pull your credit reports i suggest you click right here on identity iq you have a one dollar trial on identity iq so click right here get the trial for seven days you got the trial get all three of your credit reports from right here if you guys um I, if you guys really want to see what's on your credit report and you don't want to spend any money you can also click right here on my aura.com um, slash four slash Rakita. Click right here and use my 14 day free trial. You don't have to pay any money for or um, identity IQ. You got to spend a dollar. With this one, you have to spend any money. You can look on your experience report and you can look on creditkarma.com and you guys can see what's on TransUnion and Equifax. So Credit Karma give you TransUnion and Equifax and then um, Aura will give you your experience. So I was answering this question right here. How do we start? So I kind of went over that. You can, if you want me to send out the letters for you, go ahead and do the package at the bottom. And also um, you can just get the free letters. I just came in, where do I get the mega? Um, I don't know if you heard already, but the package is here. So for those people that want to get the package, click right here. All these buttons, you can just click here instead of clicking here, just extra, just in case people you know, may mess up. You can click right here. And here it is right here. These are what your letters are going to be. You're going to get all of the letters. Now, for this package, after you click right here, all it is is this. So I have to go back in there and edit the number of them because I realize you get this, you get 6, 12, 18, 24, 28. Plus, I gave you a standard, my mega dispute letter package that have like round one through six. Um, you have all of those just in case you want to send out standard letters. You know how I told you all that you all can send out this first letter that we have here as a um, sample. You all can send out this first letter here. There's also more letters that came with this one. It's more it go for six months that you all can do. And that's why I said I can do the six months of letters for you. And that's what I will be filling out for you all. 
but you're going to get all those letters in this mega dispute letter package. So you can just click right here on the bottom of my website, Rikita.com. And again, you'll see right here, it used to be $197, but you're getting it for $68.95. So like I said, if you guys do that, you guys are have the option for me to send out your letters for you. And the reason why I did that, because I want somebody credit report to do it live. You know, I don't want to do it for just my members that I'm already sending out their letters. I want to help people every weekend. I want to go live Fridays and Saturdays and send out your letters for free because it's a lot of stuff that's going on right now. But I don't want me to send out letters for you and you mess up your credit and you come back and need help again. That's why when you had a package, you see me did it, do it for you. You had these big um these videos. You can do it yourself after that. I don't have to do it. I'll do it for you for the first six months, but that's it. Okay. You will have it after that. But I'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you guys um get the package and text me if you guys have any questions. And my phone number is 407-374-2747. And this is the number you can text me at where I can be able to. Um, to see it. But I'll see you all later. I'll see you guys in the next video. I'll see you guys tomorrow around noon. Bye-bye.